Let's take a look at another example of the free particle with the initial wave function psi of x comma zero is given by some positive real constant a times e to the minus a times absolute value of x where big A and small a are positive real constants. First we're gonna find uh, the normalization constant a so we're gonna find a then we're gonna find phi of k given by equation number six in video number 16 question number 16 at the end of that video we have the formula for phi of k and then finally we're gonna find the wave function x and t psi of x and t so first we have to find the normalization constant which means we have to normalize this equation here so 1 is equal to the integral from negative infinity to infinity of psi star psi right dx which is the same as 2 times module square of a times the integral from 0 to infinity I cut this integral in half and I put 2 in the front of it times uh, e to the minus 2 a x dx which gives us 2 times module square of a times e to the minus 2 a x divided by 2 a minus 2 a integrating from 0 to infinity doing the integral and taking the limits we get a is equal to the square root of small a so that's the first part the second part we have to find phi of k given by equation number 6 in video number 16 at the end of the video so this is equal to a big A divided by square root of 2 pi times the integral from negative infinity to infinity times e to the minus a absolute value of x times e to the minus i k x d x carry on we have a a divided by square root of 2 pi times the integral from negative infinity to infinity times e to the minus a absolute value of x times we can i'm gonna rewrite this using earlier's formula which is cosine of k x minus i sine of k x dx right so the cosine integral is even and the sine integral is odd so since this sign is odd it vanishes it goes to zero so now our integral is equal to uh, 2 times a divided by square root of 2 pi times the integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus a x cosine of k x carrying on I'm gonna rewrite the cosine of k x as a, a divided by square root of 2 pi times the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus 2a x so the cosine I'm gonna rewrite it as e to the i k x plus e to the minus i k x dx so now we have two integrals here so doing the integration you know let me not skip any steps let's 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 carry on one more step here so you can see what's going on to infinity e to the i k 
minus a times x. This is the f this first piece here. Plus e to the minus i k plus a x dx. So now we have two integrals, uh, which gives us a divided by the square root of 2 pi times the first piece, which is e to the i k minus a times x divided by i k minus a plus the second piece, which is e to the minus i k plus a x divided by i minus i k plus a. And we're going to integrate from 0 to infinity. Finally doing the integral and uh, putting the integration limits in and find common denominator and doing some simplifications, we have v of k is equal to square root of a divided by 2 pi times 2a divided by k square plus a square. So this here is phi. All right, so finally, the last piece of the equation, of the question, is we have to find psi of x comma t. And of course, we're gonna leave it into integration form. We're not gonna actually integrate it. It's gonna be quite challenging. So you can do it numerically, but we're not gonna do it in here. So we have one divided by square root of two pi times the constant that comes from phi a to the third divided by two pi is the integral from negative infinity to infinity of 1 divided by k square minus a square times e to the i k x minus h bar k square divided by 2m times t of course dk so this is our wave function with respect to position and time so if you look at uh, the initial wave function x and 0 psi of x and 0 for large a for large a we have narrow uh, narrow wave function okay and so this is going to be small and uh, spike which means we know precisely the position of the particle however for large a phi of k is going to be very very broad and flat so this is going to be flat phi of k is the momentum of the of the particle so for large A, psi is going to be spike, which we know exactly where the particle is. This is the position, and we, but we don't know the momentum. It's flat and broad. But the opposite is also true. For small a, we don't know where the position is. So psi is going to be flat, and phi will be spiking. 